usage of metals is very much prevalent in uh, Siddha. I know the Western medicine will immediately brand it as nonsense, but in Siddha, all the things that you consider as poisonous are used as a part of their medicine. Nine deadly poisons, you heard of Navapashana, all the nine deadly poisons are used as medicine. Lead is very frequently used, mercury is regularly used, Rasavaidya is very much part of Siddhavaidya. And for those of you who are calling for God's help, when I mention the word mercury, mercury is not poisonous. It is just with mercury oxides people have poisoned water. It is irresponsible usage in the industry which has done this. There is mercury in the soil, okay? We did not import mercury from Mars. It's always been in this planet. It is not poison. It is mercury oxides which are irresponsibly used in industry and let out into the rivers and lakes which poisoned the waters on this planet. Now they think mercury is poison. No, mercury is not poison. But if you drink it, it'll kill you. Not… not because you can absorb it as poison. It is because of its sheer weight. If you put it into the stomach, it will not go through the pipe. It will just drip through the stomach because of its sheer weight. Because its specific gravity is almost fourteen times uh, that of water. Because of that, because of sheer weight, if you place it in your hand, it just goes into your hand through the pores. Similarly, if you put it into the stomach, it will go through the stomach, it will not go through the intestine. Because of that, it may kill you, because it bores holes. Not because it's acidic, simply because of sheer weight. But consumption of mercury is very much a part of the yogic system and very much a part of the Siddha Vaidya. I am still alive only because of mercury, not otherwise. So, Siddha is a very completely different kind of medicine system than anything that you will find on the planet, but it needs a Siddha to give Siddha medicine. If you are not established, if you can't hold the mercury, you don't give hope mercury to somebody else. Yogic system has always used mercury. Mercury and yogis are always together, you cannot. Even you will see, traveling yogis will carry a little bit of mercury with them always. If not in liquid form, in solid form, solidified mercury, people do practices keeping it in their mouth and doing things and whatever. There are various aspects to it. Nobody try that here, okay? We don't want you dead. It's not just bad things that kill you, good things that you're not ready for can kill you. <laughs>